Hi everyone, assume that you have a plane and you want to add more details like this. Now you can see this is not a flat plane anymore. It has surface details. It could be, you know, surface of water where you want to add waves. It could be surface of a white blood cell where you want to add, you know, these tiny uh, details. So let me share a few examples so that you will get an idea. Okay, so here you have a white blood cell. You can see the surface looks not flat, right? It has this uh, bumps and valleys. How to add those details? So that is what we are going to learn today. And here you can see something different. And let me share a few more examples. This is my portfolio. And here you can see the surface here. I used a displacement modifier. That is why it is looking like, you know, like a wave nature associated with that and here you can see surface of water it has some transparency but you get the idea i added some wave kind of detail using displacement modifier and going ahead here so here we are showing bacteria and they are very tiny so here the surface has a lot of details that also was added using displacement modifier so without further delay let me add quickly a plane shift a mesh plane and on the right side go to modifier tabs and click on add modifier and go to deform and here you can find displace modifier click on that and as soon as you add modifier it will ask for a texture before that we need to add more subdivisions on this plane go to wireframe mode if I go to edit mode now, press tab or you can go here to edit mode. You can see we have four different vertex points. We are in vertex select mode. That is why we are able to see those dots. We need more points inside. We need more subdivisions so that we can use them to you know, displace the surface. So simply right click, subdivide multiple time. Don't increase it a lot because it will be hard to handle if you have too many points. So I think this is okay. I'll stop it there. Go back to object mode, press tab. Now I'll click on this new so that I can add a new texture. This is the texture. To create a texture here, you can find texture properties. Go there and change the type to there are different types of textures. I'll go with cloud for now. You can experiment with others as well. And as soon as I add that, you can see the surface looks totally different. This is very interesting. And the surface has displaced, right? And here you can see the representation of that texture. So if I go down and adjust size, you can see the texture is changing. Accordingly, the surface is also changing. I can change the texture and the texture will control the displacement. How cool is that? And you can adjust different values here to add more details and see how they are changing and you can try different options here to get different representation okay so i'll go back like this and when you add displacement like this and you see this subdivision simply right click and shade smooth so that you get a very nice smooth surface okay now you know how to do that and go back to modifier properties here you can see strength you can see the height is very high here you can see this is very high right this is going very down so if you want to decrease the strength of displacement simply reduce the displacement strength in modifiers here you can see strength if you reduce that you can see you can adjust it now you have those tiny details without too much of strength okay now let's add this on a sphere shift a mesh i will choose icosphere sphere will not work very nicely i'll go with icosphere to get uniform displacement and click here and increase levels of subdivision to four that looks fine and click on add modifier deform displace choose a texture go to texture change this to clouds now you can see the displacement adjust the size now look at that if you think you need more details you need to subdivide so simply add subdivision surface modifier 
on top of this but be careful don't increase the levels of subdivisions a lot yeah this looks fine and i will simply right click and shade smooth now look at that it looks like a, an organic cell right go back to texture and you can adjust the texture properties here and also adjust the strength that looks great so if you want more details decrease the size like this now that looks like a surface of a cell i'll quickly add a light just to show you how it looks like and we have a plane below all right i hope you got the idea of using displacement modifier and be careful when while adding subdivisions but this is one of the highly used modifier right you will need this in many different cases so have experiment with this and let me show you a very nice detail about this modifier so i'll select this go to modifiers and displacement and here you can change the coordinates to global now what it does based on the location of the object the displacement will change which means if we move the object the displacement will change dynamically and it will appear as if you know the surface is moving this is how we create animation of a cell you know where it, the surface is actively moving let me show you the magic and simply move it like this look at that when i move the object its global position is changing accordingly the displacement is changing that is why it is acting like that you can reduce the strength a little bit and see it is moving very fast and what i would do increase the size and move it see it is behaving like a live cell which is great and you can try it here as well i'm not sure whether it can be useful see while i am changing its location the displacement is also changing and you can displace it in one direction for example y direction it is displacing only along y now displacing only along x now displacing only along z so yeah if you keep it normal and it will behave normally so that's about displacement modifier let me know if you would like to more clarity i hope it is clear it is a very powerful modifier very easy to use very easy to learn see you in the next tutorial